Hi, Trevor here with Running Warehouse with this week's vlog. We're going to be talking about shoes from Nike, Salmon, and Brooks. Well, to kick it off from Nike, we have the Lunar Elite 2. This is an ideal tempo or daily trainer for the individual who uh, overpronates. Uh, it offers a touch support on that medial side thanks to the dynamic support. Um, a little updates on here on the Lunar Elite 2. What they've done is they added a little more fly wire that moves back on that midfoot uh, really keeps it nice and secure, especially at those faster paces. This is the Lunar Elite 2 from Nike. Well, from Solomon, we have some really awesome color updates, pretty bright and vibrant on the Speed Cross 2. This is a lightweight trail racing shoe that offers a touch support for you serious trail runners. Uh, it offers that aggressive tread pattern there. Again, color, different wild colors here. And with spring approaching, this is the Speed Cross 2 from Solomon. Well, staying with Solomon, but getting more into a trail shoe that can get you from the front door to the trail and back home is the Cross Max Neutral. Uh, this is a fantastic trail shoe. And what they've done is they're using an OS tendon design to uh, against that impact protection, along with making a fluid heel to toe transition. Uh, and again, using some of that trusted technology that you come to love from Solomon, like the Contra Grip outsole and the quick lace system there. This is the XR Cross Max Neutral. And Solomon also makes this in a posted version, which is called the Guidance, Cross Max Guidance. Same technology, just that they put that post on the medial side. Excellent trail shoes, really excited about them. Well, staying with the trails from Brooks and the mind of ultra runner Scott Yurick, we have the Cascadia 6. The Cascadia series has been the top selling uh, trail shoe and running specialty. The 6 is going to keep that momentum moving forward. A couple new things they've done here on the Cascadia 6 is they're using a pivot system on the medial side. So now you have both dual pivot on the forefoot and the heel to keep a nice well balanced platform out on those trails. A uh, little special outsole design that they've used, but they're retaining that ballistic rock shield to keep from stone bruising. Another added feature, they're using DNA technology, that custom ride technology you've come to love. They're using those pods on the heel and in the forefoot. This is a fantastic shoe from Brooks, Cascadia 6, also comes in a bright red. Well, hitting the road from Brooks, we have the Ravenna 2. Uh, this is for you mild to moderate, overpronators, great daily trainer. And again, they're using that Biomogo midsole, providing that support posting. Um, a nice little feature that they've added on the Ravenna 2 is the extra little bit of stretch on that midfoot. Really keep a nice, secure, custom feel. This is the Ravenna 2 from Brooks. Well, getting into the road racing from Brooks, we have the ST5 Racer. This is for the overpronator who's looking for a touch of support. Brooks is incorporating their Biomogo midsole, which is their premium midsole, and it's also environmentally friendly, which is really cool. What's really special about the 5 is that it offers plenty of cushioning that it can be used as your daily trainer or as your main racer. This is the ST5 racer from Brooks. Well, getting to the bottom line in racing from Brooks, we have the T7 racer. This is for the serious runner and that is neutral and what Brooks has done here on the upper is they've redesigned it to stay with the contour of the foot incorporating those asymmetrical lacing. The result is a superior fit and feel that really feels like an extension of the foot. Um, fantastic design from them. This is the T7 racer from Brooks. Well for more on these items check out the product pages. Thanks for watching.